Now to a new report, and it paints a grim picture of how rising sea levels will affect the city. And now we're getting a clearer picture of exactly what those impacts will be, thanks to an interactive map that shows parts of the city underwater in a few decades. CBS 2's Alicia Reed has the story. The waters are calm on a Thursday afternoon with a clear view of the New Jersey skyline from Battery Park City. Today was happened to be a beautiful day. But the outlook for the sea level in our area? Not so much. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration predicts in less than 80 years, sea level in Battery Park City and on the east side will rise between nearly two and a half and six and a half feet. Typically comes from the the uncertainty in how fast the melting of glaciers in places like Greenland and Antarctica will actually happen. The interactive map shows neighborhoods at risk for being underwater. That's crazy to even picture. Experts say every coastal city will deal with a version of sea level rise and it will take effort from across the board to help minimize it. Greenhouse gas emissions, primarily from the burning of coal, oil, gas, that we continue to put into the atmosphere for the rest of the century. New York City has invested billions in infrastructure resiliency in the last decade to help secure the landscape. There are things can be done as well, but sometimes it is uh, it's difficult. Got to live with it, take it day by day, and if it does happen, it happens. In Battery Park City, Alicia Reed, CBS 2 News. That's how a lot of us think about Take it. Take it day by day. So if it happens, it happens. <laughs> we'll deal with it. I mean, that's not planning. The I, city is working on yeah, it. Yeah, they are. Just want to kick the can down the road. I it don't want to. Don't want to think about it. You know, we're worried that. about the here and the now at the moment. Yeah, which the here and the now is beautiful for mm -hmm. us. Weatherwise, much improved from yesterday. We'll keep riding this wave through tomorrow looks even better and then the weekend we've got some issues to talk about it's not all that bad so just a little bit of a bumpy ride by saturday and the humidity pays us a visit too good look at sky right now from brooklyn to the city where you got a few cumulus clouds but no weather worries it's a great evening to be outside whether you're thinking uh maybe a little day at the a little evening get there at the ballpark dining outside do it. Weather's great. Feels great, too. Looks good. Feels good. We like that uh, combination. 84 the high today. Normal this time of the year is 83. Far from the record of 101. We started off in the upper 60s this morning. We will be cooler tomorrow morning. Calm weather is helping the cleanup, too. So, again, no issues weather-wise. Don't really see any rain chance. We're severe clear through the weekend. Crisp, cool night 40s a possibility in the Catskills. So expect to maybe use the layers early in the day tomorrow, uh, far north and west. Humid conditions return this weekend. And of the two weekend days, right now it looks like Sunday poses the greater storm risk. It is not a washout, but you know, you're thinking about those weekend plans, maybe Saturday, the better outdoor the day, the way it looks like right now. Very changeable weather the last several days. Uh, yesterday, if you were outside, you probably didn't want to be out there for long 102 the heat index in toms river new jersey two cold fronts later and by tomorrow morning you're waking up to feels like temperatures and low temperatures in monticello in the 40s it's not going to be widespread in the 40s tomorrow most of us will wake up somewhere in the low 60s to upper 50s but a brand new air mass that we'll get to enjoy at least for a couple of days there's the future cast to start you off friday and nothing to see here weather is looking gorgeous i hope you get a chance to enjoy it by saturday some changes here comes the clouds the warm front will push that in before long you're feeling the humidity but we're not dealing Deal with rain yet. In fact, look at Saturday afternoon. Most of the day is dry. That the trend we're seeing is the arrival of the rain is later. So mostly like overnight, early Sunday could be some rain. We'll have to watch the intensity because there, this could come in a couple of ways. Maybe another round in the afternoon. But the bottom line again, it's not going to rain all day. But maybe an interruption for Sunday afternoon activities as well. Quick check on the beach forecast looks good tomorrow. Uh, the coast away from the coast you pick. Rip current risk is mott. The UV index is through the roof. Quick check on the tropics too. Two areas getting busy out there right now in the Caribbean. Not all that worried about this low end chance. Better odds for this system way out there. Bermuda high is strong, so it will keep it to the south. If it develops, should not be strong. Seven day forecast looking good. Next few days, 78 tomorrow. How about that? Haven't been in the 70s almost two weeks, but of course the warmth builds back in quick round of rain on Sunday. And then next week starts off amazing. I know you see that lightning bolt on the fourth. 
Mm -hmm. Slim chance. Slim. We'll watch it. We like that. Hello, July, right? Mm -hmm. Thanks, Tony.